Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. This is part one of a three part series about mast setup and part one is going to be pre-bend. This is specific to what I would call tight rigged catamarans such as the Hobie Tiger or any other F-18, the Tornado, the Hurricane 5.9, the Hobie 20 or anything else that has diamond wires and sails with a tight rig. So what we have on the mast on this type of boat is we have what are called diamond wires which are these wires here which go up and halfway up the diamond wire we have what is called the spreaders and then the diamond wires finish just below the hounds up the mast. Now what we have on the spreaders is what we call spreader deflection or spreader rake and the more spreader rake we have the more we are going to bend the mast. What we're trying to achieve with our pre-bend on our mast is we're trying to match the curve in the mast with the curve cut into the luff of the mainsail. Any more pre-bend on the mast it will make the sail flatter and less powerful. If we put less pre-bend on the mast it will make the sail fuller and more powerful. For heavier teams we want a more powerful sail so we're going to sail with a straighter mast and for lighter teams we want a flatter sail so we're going to sail with more pre-bend in the mast. We can adjust the tension in the diamond wires according to how much wind there is. First thing with setting the spreaders is we want to make sure that these adjustment screws are exactly the same length, giving us the same amount of spreader rake on either side. To set mine, digital calipers like this. Doesn't matter where you go from, as long as it's the same on both sides. And then you're comparing the numbers there, 19.07, and then the same on the other side. So once we've got those on, we can then measure the spreader deflection by putting a straight edge here between the tips of the spreaders. And then we measured the deflection using a ruler. And then there we can see the spreader deflection is five centimeters. Now on a Tiger, five centimeters would be for heavy crews. I want to set this more for a medium crew, so we want to change that to six centimeters. So here, using the magic of fast forward, we're gonna change that spreader rake here. Okay, so before I put that back on, just going to measure it to make sure it is the same. Now, in comes the baton between the tips. So I did about 10 turns there. So here we can see what 10 turns is going to give us 6.5. So 6.5 would be the spreader rake for a light crew, just wind it in a notch. So from where it is, we're gonna make these a little bit longer by four turns. So one, two, three, four, back in. And there it is, that four turns gave us about five mil. So there it is on six. So there's a spread of deflection of six centimeters. To adjust the tension in the diamond wires, we have this bottle screw here. This nut here is just to stop this from coming loose accidentally. We adjust the tension in the diamond wires and then we'll check the tension of the diamond wires using a loose gauge or a similar rig tension gauge. We have a second bottle screw on one of the diamond wires. The purpose of this is basically to make sure that both diamond wires are exactly the same length. I'd recommend you're not sure if they're the same length or not, tensioning this bottle screw before the bottom one because once the tension is on, it's gonna be very difficult to get tension on that bad boy there. This will go onto the wire like this and then we pull this part and we hook it on and then we could see what the number reads and here we can see it's 36 so if it was more windy we would put on more tension if it's less windy we'll put on less tension but generally we don't adjust this very much so somewhere in the middle is good 
So here we have two different styles of spreaders that you'd get on a Hobie, the older style. The method of adjusting the spreader rake, on this style we just lengthen this. If we want to rake the spreaders more, or shorten it to rake the spreaders less. On this style, we'd use this adjuster here for lengthening and shortening the rake of the spreaders. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been informative. Uh, make sure you do check out the other two videos in this series about mast rake and rig tension. Thanks again to the patrons of the Joyrider TV channel for helping me make these movies. If you want to get involved, please check out the link below. Thank you very much.